about lucky that there's a tree right here. Yeah, that is crazy. So we got a call for a Jeep that is up, I think American Fork Canyon in Northern Utah. So they're uh, kind of wedged up there against a tree. We're gonna head up there and see if we can get them out. It's currently 4 a.m. We have the more air on the trailer. It's 65 degrees and we're gonna cruise up up to Salt Lake all day today. We're picking Trevor up from his house because he's on the way and then Tucker's following us up to fly the drone. This is a pretty big job. I think we'll get it out. Tucker just sent us a text. What did it say? Well, I just hit a deer. So now we got to find out from Tucker how bad it is because that's not good. Like, are you out of commission? You know, are you losing fluids or anything? Washer fluid looks like. I'm, I'm just, uh, I'm going to pull in and get a better look at it up there. Okay. And I'll be there in a second. All right, bye. Oh, what is some bad luck Tucker did not need? All right, Trevor's meeting us here and we got to grab fuel. Oh man, it's 55 degrees up here and it's chilly. It's nice. <laughs> Told you. I told you we were gonna meet me and Trevor here. Here I am. You haven't Guess heard what? the bad news. What? So Lizzie's gonna tell it to you. I'm gonna watch your face. What's the bad news? Tucker just hit me. Nah, I just talked to him. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Yeah, he's pulling in here in a second. Lizzie, you gotta put your back into it. <laughs> there it is. Man. You're done, dude. Yeah, let's park it in his house and get another vehicle. Okay, we can car. solve this problem. Let's go before you run out of fuel. Now, why can Tucker not ride with us? Because Tucker's wife is out of town and he has his three young children. You can't leave them home alone because they'll burn the house down. So the plan is for Trevor and Lizzie to continue on in Trevor's race car. And then Tucker Yay. is gonna be riding with us and he has his children because mom's out of town, huh? And you're gonna go see who? Our grandma. Grandma. We're actually headed up to Tucker's old stomping grounds. He's gonna be our area expert to lead us through the mountains. He knows exactly where we're going. Is that right? Yeah. Tucker's a little bit sad right now. We'll get this fixed. This is gonna be better than ever. Your dad's gonna get 40 inch tires. That's how we'll fix it. We'll just finish cutting that fender and grill out. This is gonna be super fun for me because all I've ever had was boys. Well, Lizzie, I was really looking forward to country karaoke with you, but it's probably gonna be some sort of death metal with Tucker. Are you ready for pancakes? Yeah. Like a pancake. shawl? Like a blanket. Blanket! You gotta put it on and sing the bake. Eggs and biscuits and gravy. I got some French toast, eggs, That's sausage, and bacon. Steak. I got some bacon with some chicken strips. Get to pancakes with scapes. Would you get happy? Well, we got unloaded. Uh, we left the truck and trailer at Tucker's parents, and we left Tucker's children at Tucker's parents, and the rest of us packed in this like a like a bunch of sardines, like a Dorito in a bag. So anyway, we're all packed in here, and we're about to drive straight up that mountain right there. And guess what? It has snow. So we're in the town of American Fork. This is where Tucker grew up. When he saw where this recovery was, he's like, I gotta come. So we're like, okay, you can come as long as you hit a deer. And then he did. I did. Good I'm job. a man of my word. Good job, Tucker. Thanks, Trevor. Lizzie gets a candy apple sucker whenever she wears her seatbelt. Somebody sent them especially for that purpose. How many are we up to? Like four. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
look at the hill though, like with all of the different colors. It's so yeah, pretty. we made it here for the fall colors. There he is. Oh, we have a problem. Uh, we got a math problem. We're bad at maths. Yeah, it's because my sister's car won't be able to make it up there. We'll get you, we'll put you in the front right here. How are you doing back there, Lizzie? Fantastic. Yeah. It's actually really comfortable. For now. I'm pointing. <laughs> Give it a minute. Yeah. How far up? How many minutes to get to where we're going? Uh, Except for this is cool. 10 minutes? 15? 20 minutes? Depends on really how fast you go. Disconnected? It's just hovering. <laughs> Go. What are we running from? My choices. You saw it when it lost connection. Oh, there we go. Okay. There we go. You see us? I see us. I'm kind of having a rough day. Everybody is. It started yesterday. It started when I went to Florida. <laughs> If I end up hitting a deer with my drone. <laughs> hey! Hey, we found you! Yeah, I just got lucky that there's a tree right here. Yeah, that is crazy. I was hoping for more trees up here. Oh, there's yeah. a lot of bushes. I'm gonna give you a rope and you're gonna hike up there to a tree. All right. I can't see any known good tree, so you're gonna have to okay. do your best. All right. This is gonna take everything we got, Trevor. Then it'll all be worth it. Yeah. Like a rhinestone cat. How did I do? Not too bad. Not the best either. Is that Tucker up there? Yeah. It's Sasquatch. All right. Have you got a good tree? What's the diameter? You're not a leg guy though, you always skip leg day. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, a basketball! Okay, hook Ooh, it up. That's good size. Okay, I'm gonna pull on it. So, we're up here and it is fall. Almost hunting season. Everything is turning yellow and green and orange and red. Beautiful. Hi everybody. I've got to get my, I have got to get on this side because this is what I want to do. I want to hook to this and to my snatch block and my winch and then a kinetic rope to the back of that to keep it from sliding down and just anchor myself right there. What? Driver.
Okay, Lizzie. Come back here, I'm gonna hand you stuff. Yeah, but my sister was there, so we're gonna be using every trick we know. Would it be easier with two rigs? Yes. I'm gonna get it rigged up so that you can see it. But what I'm trying to do is I'm trying to secure the back so it doesn't go down anymore. And then we're gonna pull the front and hopefully it'll come up. And we're gonna try to do all of this without pulling the Morver to us. All right, so you can see we've got that end anchored to a tree that's probably strong enough. Right, Lizzie? Yep. And then pulling with the snatch block there, has to pull the front up. This is on here just to keep the back end from sliding down more. This thing just, we're trying to just slide it up onto the road right here. I know that this isn't, or I don't think this is heavy enough. So now the next step is to anchor the back of this. Does this all make sense to everybody? Looks like a Delta. It's Delta. Okay, Lizzie, just get in and get comfortable with it. Okay, turn a little to the left. Yep, just like that. Okay, now put it in reverse. You're gonna back this thing up. Turn a little bit more to the left and just bring it on back. Just like six inches. Stop, whoa! Okay, you're out. Jump out and let's clean up all our recovery. You should send Trevor up the hill with her to undo the rope. I should. Lizzie's like a mountain climber. First you get the customer out. Step two, then you put your stuff away. Oh, dang, look at that. He's real better than Matt. Step three, then you go home. I can climb up better than I can go. <laughs> We're in the middle of step two. If you guys would have left that hooked up up there, it would have been easier to climb down. I know, right? That's what I was trying to tell her. A winch saved the day. My general distrust for winches is slowly waning. <laughs> Load up. Oh, we got to get him out of here, out. huh? We're still not done. He's got to be able to make it back onto regular trail. So we're gonna get this turned around. Yeah, baby. No, that wasn't your best one. Where's, where's the good one? You did it good when you were talking about it. But we're gonna do an Austin Power turn right here, right now. Yeah, baby. Driver, driver, driver. Okay, straight. Hitting the rock now, up. Okay, yeah, bump it up. Okay, go for it. You got it, you got it. You're gonna hit. There's like no escape from that. We gotta get you up higher. Get some, well, maybe. get some steps on the back right here. He might just spin those out. Yeah. See if we can get it to slide on this ball too, maybe. Okay. Did he get over it? Oh, 
They catch yeah, it? Almost. So if we get the back up too. Whew. You're good, you can go as far as you want. I don't know how you got over. <laughs> Like you can go this way, but you can't go this way. Oh, I screwed up the relay. Lizzie, I should have just let you do it. What are we doing with this? We're gonna move that rock. Even though it's there to block people from coming this way because the road's washed out. We're trying to pivot this this way. We're gonna see how that goes. No worries. Look at that big fat pivot. worm. Pivot. Pivot. Don't come off. Don't come off. Oh. Did we put it in a worse spot? Looks, Tucker can just roll it off right now. It looks like it's in a worse. Look at that. This thing is huge. It looks like we put it in a worse spot. Yeah. Stand clear. Ooh. Extra room on that one. Avalanche. Oh, that's a good idea. I like that idea. Oh, yeah. Pivot. Oh, that was a good pivot. Why does it seem like it would be so easy just to push it off, but it wouldn't? Let's try it. Lizzie, let's go. I think we moved it. I think we moved it. That one is so big. Oh, oh, that's such a good pivot. That's all we need right there. Oh. We've done it. I still want to roll it down. There's there. another big one. No. What the world? I want to be able to put it back. It would be a response. Yeah. So there's no markings that say that this that this is a road, road closed area. But obviously somebody doesn't want us to go here. They left a road guard. That earthworm wasn't doing a very good job of warning people. It's like he's out here just living under a rock. Where's that purple camp? <laughs> We've been out here way too long. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks again. Enjoy Thank the rest of your day. You too. Thank you so much. Yeah. Take care. All right. So that wasn't too bad. We just had to figure out all the little things to make it happen. We used almost every single piece of recovery gear on that job. But I guess all's well that ends well. I'm going to kill myself jumping off of here. <laughs> That's nice. This is so nice. Tucker's Tahoe is now deer free. Thanks, Matt. Thanks, and Matt. And thanks for watching.